What's up guys? Welcome back to This Just In. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, in this video, we're going to take a quick look at the 5X portfolio, see how it's doing. Uh, and then I'm going to give you the best top three SPACs to buy now uh, to double your money and have huge growth in 2021. So stick around. I think you're going to like what I got for you today. Alrighty, so first things first guys, obviously I'm not a licensed stockbroker. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Uh, always do your own research and due diligence. Uh, before we jump in, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you can stay up to date. I post a new video every day looking at the portfolios and also looking at stocks that I think are going to do well moving forward. Uh, best penny stocks, value stocks, you know, SPACs, everything like that. So uh, you don't want to miss that. Uh, there's also a link down in the description to my Patreon account. Come join me over there. I'd love to have you. Uh, you'll have an uh, you know access to my private Discord uh, where we talk stocks all day. You'll also have links to all of my different portfolios, see exactly what I invest into. Uh, and then anytime I buy or sell a stock, you'll get notified up to the minute I do it uh, so you can follow along with that. And then any beginners or anybody out there, if you have any questions, if you need help with anything, come ask me. I'd love to help you guys. Uh, then there's also a link down there to Weeble. Uh, set up an account. Deposit 100 bucks, you'll get a couple free stocks, anywhere from like 10 bucks all the way up to $1,800. Uh, so you get some free money, and then I also get a free stock as well. So it helps support the channel. Really appreciate it. Um, okay, so we're going to jump in today. So, first thing we'll take a look at is the portfolio. Uh, then I'm going to give you three of the best SPACs to buy now. Uh, for any beginners out there, a SPAC is a special purpose acquisition company. Uh, essentially, is a, it, it's a, a way for companies to go public through a reverse merger. It has gotten extremely popular in 2020 and 2021. Uh, so companies don't have to go through the traditional IPO route. Essentially, a an acquisition company sets up a trust, puts a bunch of money in it, goes out there and looks for targets, uh, you know, in, as far as companies and in specific industries that they wanna go after, uh, that they can merge with and take public through their SPAC and get them on the publicly traded market without having to go through an IPO. So uh, if you have any questions on that, let me know. Uh, you know, I, I can help you with that or answer any questions you have. Um, okay, so let's jump in. Um, so first thing we're gonna take a look at today is the Fidelity 5X portfolio. Uh, so as of right now, we're getting beat up. Uh, as of yesterday and today, we are down about 70 bucks. Uh, you know, if you remember when I did the video yesterday, we were sitting at 80 uh, or 800 before the market was opened. Uh, so we're down, we're down pretty good right now. Uh, th these are really high growth stocks. And so on the red days, you're going to be down. Uh, but on the green days, you're going to be up huge numbers. And so I'm not worried about it. I plan on holding these stocks. Uh, you know, I think we've got some really good winners in there. I think that, uh, you know, once this Q1 kind of settles down, I knew Q1 was going to be rough. Uh, I think once kind of Q1 settles down and we get into Q2, Q3 later on in the year, once everything kind of mellows out, starts to kind of get back to normal, I think you'll see the market go on a huge bull run. Uh, you know, a lot of people are talking about uh, stock market crashes and everything like that. We're due for a correction. I think it's natural. I think we will see a, a nice 10% correction, uh, you know, but even if we do, that gives us great buying opportunities. You know, a lot of people, they panic sell, uh, you know, they, they freak out if they see, you know, dips. I buy, I keep cash on the side. If I find good stocks that are getting beat up and are down on red days, I buy them. I don't, I don't sell them. And so, you know, I do, I've got good research. Fundamentals are good. Companies are good. I've got faith. Uh, and so I know that on red days, I just get a better entry, get those prices at a discount, uh, and they will end up going back up. So uh, as of today, we've got about 3150 uh, in the in the portfolio. We are up around 31%. Look at that. You see that? We just jumped up 30 bucks within the two minutes that I'm talking. So these growth stocks, you know, they're volatile. They go up, they go down, they're, they move. And so that's why hopefully we can hit our goal of the 5X. But uh, this pay, this portfolio will be at the Patreon, uh, so you can come check it out and monitor it uh, in real time. So um, first, uh, first uh, SPAC I want to show you guys today is CCIV. This is Churchill Capital. They are merging with Lucid Motors. Well, rumored to be uh, moving with uh, merging with Lucid Motors. All of the signs point in that direction. Uh, in my opinion, I think the merger is going to go through. Uh, the crazy thing about this this SPAC is 
they announced that they were in talks with Lucid Motors and the stock has been going absolutely insane. They've literally had to come out a few times and say, we cannot confirm nor deny, you know, any, uh, you know, deal with Lucid Motors. We're just in talks. We're considering other companies, stuff like that. I took that as good news because I think with how crazy the stock's been going, if it wasn't going to happen, they would come out and say, hey, it's not happening. You know, uh, we're not doing the merger. We can't, can't come to an agreement. Uh, but they didn't. They just said, hey, we can't confirm or deny. They go through negotiation. There's a lot of stuff that goes on when you're merging, when you're doing stuff like this in business. Uh, so I see it as good news. I think, uh, you know, news like that is better than straight bad news. Uh, this is an electric vehicle company for those of you guys that don't know. Uh, they are a high-end uh, you know, electric vehicle company. I think they are going to give Tesla a huge run for their money. They've got a factory down in Arizona uh, and they're talking about putting one out in Saudi Arabia. Go to their website and look at their cars. They're absolutely beautiful. Uh, this stock, we got in down here around 17 bucks and then I added a few more shares right here around 25. So we have had massive gains. I mean, yesterday it popped from like 32 all the way up to 53. And so, and there's, again, there was not even a merger announced. And so, uh, you know, I put a price target on it back when it was around almost $30 that it would hit 50 to 55 once the merger was confirmed. Uh, now that it's blown past 50, I don't know. I could see it hitting, you know, 70, 80 once the merger gets announced. I really think that this stock is people that missed the boat on Tesla and they missed that big run up and they're almost revenge trading this. Uh, you know, when I first got in, I was like, okay, this is a pretty risky play because stock, you know, SPACs, they start at 10 bucks. That's their flat line price. And so, you know, you, uh, you get in right now and the, they come out and say, hey, the merger's not going through. We're not, you're, the stock's gonna go back to 10 bucks. You're gonna lose 80% of your money. Do I think that's gonna happen? No, not, not at all. There's too many signs that are pointing in the direction that the merger is going to go through. There's people that work at both companies. Uh, you know, they're, uh, like I said, the talks have been, uh, you know, they're working through the details. It's not, you know, no, the merger's not happening. Uh, also, the CEO for Churchill or Lucid Motors was actually the chief engineer that you know, made the Model S over at Tesla. So I think this company is going to kill it in the future. I plan on holding this stock for years, not days. And so I think that, uh, you know, there people are saying it's the next Tesla. It's not even a tenth of the size of Tesla. I think they said when the when when it comes out at this stock price, uh, it could be around eighty billion dollars or something like that market cap. Tesla's like an $800 billion company. Like they're not even a 10th the size of Tesla, but that shows you right there how much room this company has to move over the course of the next three to five years. Uh, you know, the stocks ran up right now. I don't know uh, if it's gonna come down. You know, I, it's crazy this the way this thing is moving. I would try to, you know, see if it's gonna get some profit taking and sell off uh, to try to get a better entry. Uh, but, you know, I think if you plan on holding this stock for years on years, I think 53 bucks is a great price for it, especially, you know, before the merger. I think once the merger is confirmed, it's done, you're gonna see it run up. They may do a stock offering in the future. I don't know. Uh, if I was a CEO, I would. Uh, I'd get, you know, once the stock price is way up, I'd do a stock offering, raise a bunch of cash, uh, and then go out there and just go full force on expanding the company and, uh, you know, building new factories and things like that. The big thing about these guys versus like Neo and Xpeng is they've got their own factory. Neo didn't have their own factory. They don't have their own factory when they started. These guys, they've got their own factory already. They can produce a lot of cars. And then if they add the new one in Saudi Arabia, they're going to do very well. So put this one on your radar. This is a great company. I'm going heavy on CCIV and I will continue to add shares anytime I can try to get a little bit of a discount if the stock sells off. So um, next one we're gonna take a look at is BFT. This is fully Trazamine Acquisition Corp. I think that's Trazamine. I don't know how you pronounce that. Uh, this is Bill Foley SPAC. Uh, they are doing a merger with PaySafe. It's a payment processing company. Uh, that's got three different, uh, you know, revenue models. They've got the digital wallets, uh, the e-cash, and then the integrated payment processing, which is uh, e-commerce. They are huge in the iGaming space. Uh, they process payments for Twitch, DraftKings, uh, Fortnite, uh, you know, a lot of the iGaming and internet, uh, you know, gaming type platforms like that. 
uh, they've already done like over a hundred billion dollars in, in payments. They're a big company. Uh, Bill Foley is an absolute genius. He's the one that's uh, you know started Fidelity, which Fidelity is an OG brokerage, huge financial uh, firm. And so I think that this company's got a lot of backing behind it. They've got a lot of cash. Uh, they've got good margins. Their revenue is set to grow double digits in the next two years. Uh, and so I think that with their business model, with their three way, you know, three uh, revenue streams, this company will, will do well. I think it is very, very undervalued right now. 16 bucks, uh, you know, it's high was 18. Uh, the merger has been announced. It's not confirmed. I think once the merger gets confirmed, we get it out of Q1. Like I said, I think I, you will see this company continuously go up in value uh, over the next 12 months. I easily put a price target on this stock by the end of 2021 to be around 25 bucks. Uh, once the merger gets announced, I would like to see it pop up to at least 20, uh, but we'll see what happens. So put this on your radar. Uh, PaySafe is, you know, you got to think about its predecessor like PayPal and, uh, you know, Affirm and a lot of those other companies. They kill it. They do very well. Uh, they've got a little bit of different, you know, industries and business models and, you know, PayPal stock price is way up. So. Uh, check these guys out. Put them on your on your radar. You can see here. You know it came out the ten bucks. Uh, had huge run up, sell off. Huge run up, sell off. Huge run up. And so you know uncertainty. The market's been kind of choppy lately. But I think that once we kind of get closer uh, to you know April, uh, you will see it. You know have a steady bull run. So go check these guys out. I think it'll do well for moving forward. Uh, last one we're going to take a look at is VGAC. This is a uh, VG Acquisition Corp. So this is Richard Branson's company. I think I said that right. Richard Bronson, Branson, whatever. Uh, he took uh, Virgin Galactic uh, public. He's a business conglomerate. Everybody knows who he is. He's he's huge. He's very smart businessman. Uh, he's actually merging with 23andMe. Is their their target uh, merger company? Uh, they're in work. They're in talks. They're in negotiation. I'm pretty sure that it's 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 looking it's going to go through uh, i mean like 80 percent of mergers or spac mergers have gone through uh, i think that 23 and me is a great company especially how they're kind of transitioning their business model a little bit going into a reoccurring revenue model uh, where they're selling those uh, dna kits where you can send it in they send you back like your heritage and stuff like that uh, but what they're doing is they're gathering more and more data as more people send in dna they get more and more data and it tells them more about other people's DNA, other people's history. Uh, the other thing that they've been doing is they've been able to tell people like who's more susceptible to disease and uh, if their family had certain issues or illnesses, they can kind of prepare for that. So they've even been helping with COVID and things like that. Uh, and so I think that th that industry is a big industry right now. I think people like seeing, uh, you know, uh, their heritage and kind of where they come from. Like I said, with that reoccurring revenue model, I think that will help them grow at a steady rate uh, rather than just buying the kit, spitting in it or whatever, sending it off, getting your results. Uh, you can continuously log in and get updates uh, and new information every time it comes out on your you know, upcoming heritage and your, your health and things like that. The health is the part that interests me the most. I think that that can really help the health industry uh, you know, and help people be more preventative. Uh, you know, if they see that they've got a history of cancer or illnesses, whatever, they can start taking preventative message or methods to get around it or, or try to avoid it. So I think that'll help in the future. Like I've said before, I like investing in companies that make the world a better place or help out at least. Uh, that's why, you know, we've got an EV company in here. I'm really big on EV and solar power and things like that. But um, I think this company uh, right now is at a discount. You know, it was clear up uh, around 18 bucks uh, not too long ago and you're down here around 14, I think it gives you a good entry. I think at 14 bucks, uh, you know, this company could do much better than that. I would like to say that they will get up around $20 post-merger. Uh, these guys have got cash on the hand. They've got, uh, you know, Richard Bronson with a lot of hype behind him. He's a great businessman. I think he will help these guys do well moving forward. And 23andMe CEO, uh, she's a beast too. So check these guys out. Go look at their investor presentation. It's pretty interesting. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions, put them down in the comments. Uh, if there's any SPACs you're buying or if there's any SPACs or, uh, you know, that, that you've done well on, let me know. I'd love to check them out. I like seeing what you guys invest into. Uh, come join me at the Patreon. I'd love to see you over there. Uh, and then also, let's get out there and make some money. Peace.